San Mateo County Supervisor unveiled a sweeping new plan that he says will give police a fighting chance. Our Jose Martinez has that story. I'm here at the Hillsdale Shopping Center in San Mateo where retail theft has become a nightmare for many businesses here. Now, elected officials say it's time to act right now because enough is enough. Thank you, Rachel. Alan Cochran, a flower delivery worker, has witnessed a concerning trend in San Mateo County, an increase in retail theft and other crimes in the area. It's just on the rise. I mean, it's just everywhere you go, it's crazy. Every city, every state, out of control. Especially after four people, including two juveniles, were arrested on Sunday right next to his job after police said thousands of dollars in fragrances were stolen from a cosmetic store at the Hills of Shopping Center. Yeah, I'm here five days a week. Yeah, weekends, I get, I get the day off, two days off, but uh, yeah, when I flip on the news, I'm like, oh, I was just there Friday, you know, or. But this Tuesday, Allen and the community received a much needed boost. San Mateo County Supervisor David Canapo announced a bold step to address this issue. Enough is enough. I mean, all this retail theft, all this sort of crime, uh, enough is enough. I mean, we really need to uh, look at state laws. What we have in place right now is not working. Supervisor Canapa says retail theft has been rising across San Mateo County, so he presented an option to help tackle this issue. I've asked to create a task force. So at our September 12th Board of Supervisors meeting, I want to move forward with legislation to create a task force of the Sheriff's Office as well as the police chiefs here in San Mateo County. He says some of the most affected areas are the Hillsdale Shopping Center and Ceremony. And everywhere he goes, he hears the same frustrated speech from residents regarding Proposition 47. We can't go on like this. And in addition, in addition, in addition, I had supported Proposition 47, which basically said you wouldn't prosecute or, con you know, the, the crimes are much different at night at the level of $950. I thought it was a good idea at the time because I thought we need to give people an opportunity. We need to give them a chance. I made a mistake. It was a big mistake. And you have to acknowledge your mistake. By doing this, what we've done is we're letting people take thousands and thousands of dollars. And why should people be subjugated? And Alan agrees. He says it's time to act. Well, I, it's awesome. Yeah. And get the CHP involved. Get the National Guard, whatever it takes, you know, to, to take care of this, you know. Yeah, this, this uh, retail crime is just forcing, especially in other cities like Oakland Sam, and San Francisco, it's forcing the small business people to close. They can't afford all these constant break-ins and robberies that there goes, there's no profit in, in that for them. And Alan tells me he's hopeful that this new attitude from the county could actually help tackle this issue. This year, the San Mateo Police Department has made 30 arrests for shoplifting and 23 arrests for burglary.